In this video, I'll show you how to install the SideQuest app in your headset and its desktop app in your computer. The desktop app has more features, but having it in your headset is also very convenient for game downloads. So I'm going to show you how to set it up on both. You just need a computer that runs on Windows 10 or 11, Mac or Linux. You don't need a gaming or a super fast computer for this. This tutorial can be used for Windows, Mac, and Linux, but I made another video just for Mac, linked down in the description. Another thing you need is a USB cable. If your computer has a USB-C port, you can use the Quest charging cable. Here are some examples of working cables that I have. Step 1. Set up your developer account. This includes verifying it and creating an organization. Go to the Oculus Developer website by clicking the link I provided in the description. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. To verify your account, you can link your credit card or set up two-factor authentication using your phone. I'm gonna go with two-factor authentication. After verifying your account, go back to the previous tab to create an organization. On the left, there's an organization drop-down box. Click it to see the create option. Give your organization a unique name and agree to the terms. Step 2. Enable developer mode. Get your phone or your tablet where you have the MetaQuest app installed. Tap on MetaQuest 2 or whatever device you have. Go to Headset Settings, then Developer Mode. Step 3. Install ADB Drivers. There's a link to the download page in the description. It comes in a zip format. You can open it, but you can't install it unless you extract it first. So right-click on the zip file and click Extract All. Inside the extracted folder, you'll see a file called Android underscore WinUSB. Right-click on it and install. If it doesn't show an install option, try clicking Show More at the bottom. Step 4. Create a SideQuest account. Click the sign up link on the top right corner. Step 5. Install SideQuest. Click Get SideQuest. As you can see, there are two installers here. There's Easy and there's Advanced. So if you mainly just want to install SideQuest apps from inside your headset and won't be using your PC so much, you can go with the easy installer. But if you want that and the full features of SideQuest, all you need is the advanced installer. Besides SideQuest games, the advanced installer also lets you install apps that are not in SideQuest. And that's just one of its many features. The Quest runs on Android, so you can install Android apps like Discord, for example. Not everything is expected to work, but most of the 2D apps I tried worked fine. You can also install a file manager with it. Having a third-party file manager lets you install apps downloaded through your Quest browser. This is not natively possible yet, so to me, it's really helpful. I'm gonna link a tutorial on that in the description. Now choose your installer. The download button should show your OS, but if for some reason it appears to be inaccurate, just click Show More and manually select the right version. On the left is the Easy Installer and on the right is the Advanced. Currently, the status says Not Detected. For the Easy Installer, you can see that right in the middle. And for the Advanced, that's on the top left corner of the window. Sign in to the SideQuest app. If you have the Easy Installer, you don't have to do this but you'll have to link the SideQuest app to your account which I will show you later. Now get your headset and connect it to your PC using a USB cable. 
When the status changes from not detected to not authorized, put on your headset and allow all the pop-ups. If you accidentally click cancel or deny and don't show again, you can make the window appear again by enabling USB connection dialog. You just have to go to settings, then system, and scroll down to developer. And there, USB connection dialog. When the dot turns green and says connected or shows the name of your device, you can start using it. For the easy installer, click install SideQuest in your headset. For the advanced installer, if you also want to have SideQuest in your headset for more convenient downloads, click one of the icons on the top right corner. Not all, but some of them show a one-click install for SideQuest. When it says installed, proceed to the SideQuest app in your headset to start linking. Click the drop-down box on the top right and scroll down to the bottom to get to Unknown Sources. This is where you'll find your third-party apps like SideQuest and your SideQuest game downloads. Follow the instructions you see on the app to start linking. After linking, wait a little bit for the app to refresh. And if there's an update, click update. The first time you install an app with it, whether it's a SideQuest update or another app downloaded through SideQuest, you have to give it permission to install. Click settings and allow installation from this source. The app might close after the update, so just reopen it. From here on, I believe you won't need help anymore. Just hit the download button of any game and it will start downloading. There are games here that have an App Lab label. These are games that don't need to be sideloaded and can be installed normally. You can use the SideQuest app in your PC without your headset being connected, or even just a SideQuest web version in any device, even your phone. When you get the App Lab game you want, it will show in your game library ready to be installed. If you got the advanced installer and want to know how to install apps that are not in SideQuest, like Spotify, Discord, and other Android apps, stick around and I'll show you. First, of course, download an Android app. My favorite site to go to is apkpure.com. Android apps can be in APK or XAPK format, but only APKs can be installed using SideQuest, so make sure that's what you're downloading. Then, in SideQuest, click the arrow down button on the top right corner and double-click the Android app you want to install. Like I mentioned earlier, sideloaded apps can be found in unknown sources. If in the future it disappears, check if developer mode is still enabled in the MetaQuest app. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing.